morning this is january the 14th sunday 2024 and we are in bba first year section a compulsory english class where we are going to talk about the text a day in the life of a salary man uh if you are aware uh, i have mailed you this text and what i have done for every sentence in the text i have sent you a question within the text and malike bana chutya read these questions in the text carefully and then uh, sorry then answer them in handwriting when as well they have to part pod ne so just for example uh they have one million highlight i have highlighted the text and the text bhitre inside the text i have set a number of questions that's the first opening page ma shuru mein questions are 10 12 i guess 40 50 60 questions are throughout the 10th page only every question can be answered in one word or two word kuni kuni question you will have to answer in a sentence otherwise they are multiple choice questions and instruction ke sa copy these questions in a lined copy bana sa hath le and answer them bana sa ani tyo monday bhitra pathaunu bhaya monday 10 bhitra pathaunu bhaya sa aadin tumhe ye kaam garne ho okay so a day in the life of salary man as you can see John Burgess he spent 84 to 87 as a journalist for Washington Post right and he wrote more than 600 articles on business and politics in Japan so this gentleman has much knowledge about business and politics in Japan he has written 600 articles right about these two topics in Japan Korea China, Vietnam, Thailand, Laos and Cambodia, North East Asia. And this A Day in the Life of Salary Man was published in 1987 and this is say sorry let's not say is I'll call it article. It provides insights into how Japanese cultural values of work Japanese cultural values of work shape attitudes towards work in this detailed account this story is this article is detailed description of one day in the life of a salary man the average japanese white collar worker now in the exam i might ask a question where i connect three lessons for example if you read michael ventura's essay uh, someone is stealing your life He also begins by saying that Americans wake up around six, come back around six. They are sixes people, and he goes on describing American work life. And if you remember uh, loving the boom, there also we read how Robert Bartugle started business at 15 years is and how much he worked. Baka. And then we have this this essay, this article. So I can set a question connecting these three texts, right? Loving the boom. someone is stealing your life and a day in the life of a man so this this can be a long answer question right so you should be able to connect these three lessons okay now we'll invite the presenter quickly and uh, she will tell more about the essay so let's invite samyukta who will talk about the essay or article not essay article do it fast and uh, tell the story here are the mic, uh, mics you can clip on the collar go on. A Day in the Life of a Salary Man is an article by John Burgess. He, it provides an insight on how Japanese cultural values shape uh, their attitudes towards work. 
So what is a salary man? A salary man A salary man is a is an average Japanese white collared worker. Uh, a, a salary man is uh, considered an industrial warrior, also the driving force behind Japan's economy. <laughs> Go on. He is made fun of in cartoons as a wimp who is scared of his boss. Who is made fun of? The, the salary man. Come on, like you information, come on, like you. Okay, okay, let's see. Somebody already gave one of the one. He is found in dark suits, clean, smart, uh, and elegant look for his office. Um, a salary man uh, is what uh, 280,000 young men who graduate from universities each year quickly become in Japan. A good so almost 30,000 people look for jobs each year. They become salary man. Mm. Um, uh, the good salary man devotes his um, body and soul into his work. Devotes body and soul, and soul into the work. Hmm. If the company thrives, so will he. Um, he loves his wife and children, but he can, uh, in a pinch, he can put his work above them. Ah, loves his wife and children, but in a pinch, he can put company above family. So this is salary man. My wife is sick today. I left her home alone. Nobody to take care. And I can teach you to earn money. So I'm the salary man. Go on. Uh, some commentators um, predict that the new generation will uh, be more devo devoted to family and self-expression instead of uh, devoting all of them to a the hope, work. A hope. Uh, salary man represents no specific person or an organization, but the average Japanese worker. And uh, a salary man is uh, given the title he in this, the pronoun he. Uh, is it interesting because? Uh, nobody in this 10-page uh, uh, article, no woman is shown to be a salary woman. There are few women uh, working in the restaurant who are uh, sadly involved in sex trade. Otherwise, the story does not show Japanese women involved in decent work. And this hints a lot about Japanese culture. Uh, the salary man uh, rises from bed, uh, cramped in a master bedroom of his house, in a mortgage home. Mm. Um, his wife of 12 years... His home is mortgage. See, he has a home, but this is bank's home. Mm. Uh, his, wife, his wife of 12 years has already gotten her, his two children off to school. Mm. And he's late get, he was late getting home, so he couldn't see a his children. A nuclear family. Husband, wife... Son, daughter. Hmm. He was late the previous night as well, so he couldn't see his children. He was late the previous night. Normally, they arrive home after midnight. They arrive home around 1. And when they come, their children are fast asleep. And they leave home before children wake up. So children don't see them. And they don't see children. Hmm. Feel uh the life. On Sunday, he's planning to take his wife and children to an amusement park a okay. half an hour's drive from the Sunday, house. On Sunday, he's planning to take in an amusement park, but later you read that he tries, he has a meeting on Sunday morning. So he says that, no, Sunday afternoon. So he says, I will squeeze the picnic in the morning, the visit in the morning, and give day time to office. Even Sunday is a holiday, he devotes time to office. It is shown that he smokes cigarette a lot. Mm. Um, he smokes 45 cigarettes in a day. Mm. Um, and Does he smoke more than you? <laughs> I'm sorry, you might feel offended, right? I was just making this a dialogue. Go on. On the ninth paragraph, um, the husband and the wife are talking about getting a new car. Okay, they're talking about getting a Toyota Crown. Husband says, 
I should get Toyota Crown. Wife says that's that will be a show off. We don't need that. Hmm. Um, his wife drives him 10 minutes to the train station and he takes a 70 minute Used journey. Used to drive, not now. When they were newly married, his wife, yes, he, she drives, yes, I understand, uh, yes. But when they were newly married, while returning from office, she would wait him on the way with her car. But now she doesn't wait. Go on. Um, Go he reads a, a book on computer science to fit in with a new generation in the tree. Yeah, but but he doesn't know anything about science, computer science, but he reads books yes, to sir. keep abreast with the young generation. Hmm. Uh, there are two types of salaryman, the elite and the run on run of the mill. Uh, elite and the run of the mill. And he counts himself as the elite one, the man heading for the top. Okay, elite means rich and belonging to a higher level of society. Run of the mill means below average. Hmm. Uh, but he thinks he's starting to slip, uh, be, uh, slip because when he should be uh, reading about a new study, studying about new commercials, he's out drinking with his buddies, work buddies. Yeah, he's not able to promote himself in the company. Hmm. Uh, at, it is said that at 9, 10, he steps into his real home. Hmm. So it says that it, his actual home with his wife and children is not his real home, but where he spends more and then 12 hours. His company is real. I was in school in 2050 years old. I was in school in 10 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 years old. I was in school in Nepal. I was in school in Nepal. I was in school in I was told that I was going to be able to I gave my body and soul to school. And the school didn't care about me. Right? They say it's a history of exploitation. Go on. Salaryman works as a section manager in his organization. Okay, he's a section manager. Hmm. Uh, he goes at the meeting at 10.30 a.m. And the meeting lasts more than an hour. Um, at 10.30 he goes for meeting. For one hour. And the manager says, let's give our all to this contract. So uh, it states that he he can make, he, has, he had plans for um, uh, his family on Sunday, but he has to squeeze the time ah. and, and leave in the morning instead of because the Because there's a new contract and they want to hold a meeting for that. Yes, sir. Hmm. So it says that... So he squeezes the Sunday amusement park visit to morning yes, sir. and thinks it should give time to company in the day. Hmm. Uh, again, uh, salaryman defers to his manager in the elevator, seeks advice on personal problems and even volunteers for some heavy lifting one weekend when the manager was moving out. So it says that he wanted to be close to his manager and um, so he, it meant cancelling the baseball game with his son. What? So so his plan was to go for baseball game, but he quits baseball game plan and goes to manager's house to help him to lift something, right? So again, uh, he puts his office above family. Yeah. Again and again, he put the major theme of this story, this article, this is that Japanese workers put office and company above their family. On paragraph 19, it is said that a uh, salaryman, like most of his type, can never converse with a co worker without marking unconsciously whether he is ahead ah, or behind. When he seniority. talks with co workers, he is very conscious about his standard. I am above you, you are below me. So it shows, shows the need of show off and wanting to be ahead in yeah, our office. Need to show off and need to be ahead of others. Mm. Uh, so on his break time, it's uh, it, it, he talks about. Uh, Getting involved in golf. Soon talks is calling interest living. He wants to be involved in golf, but they don't have any space for that, right? Yes, sir. He has bought everything needed for the playing golf, but but he, he, he doesn't go. He has no time for that. Hmm. Uh, in the paragraph, twenty uh, second paragraph, it says that uh, salaryman promises promises to help him. Help, but his mind right now is more on his own future. So, uh, his uh, friend of his own class is thinking about leaving his position and uh, uh, and for one, and he's applying in salaryman's department. So he promises to help, but he is scared about his own future and his own promotion. Uh, somebody, his friend says, "I want to leave my department and come to your department." He says, "I will help you," but his concern is maybe I'll lose my own job. This is look. 
salary man is always <coughs> insecure about his job he is insecure about his job uh, salary man thinks he will make assistant department manager but after that who knows he may hold steady at the grade until his mid 50s and then be framed out as a senior executive to one of the smaller of the company's many subsidiaries so he's scared about the future that he'll be hold in a small position yeah. in a small place he is quite worried about his future whether i'll be promoted or not what when i'll be retired what money i'll have yeah uh, look they are working they are giving their body and soul to the company yet they are not sure about their future a uh, neither salary man or his friend uh, want to be the man that quit the company 2 years ago to set up his own consulting business yeah so, he knows about somebody who left the company and opened his own company but in salary ma man's mind it lacks the most satisfying element of a professional life having a membership in a large respected organization yeah look why do i come to your college i ride 15 kilometers it's far away right one reason i keep coming to your college is the brand this college has the brand right what people ask for what do you teach the morning i tell i teach at this college here you see he says the salaryman says no i'm not getting much but but i like to be uh, related to a big company right have having a job big company so it says that the japanese workers put uh, being in an organization over having their own business ah japanese workers put being in an organization above having their own company whereas we know that having your own company is far better than being in an organization right yes so at 4 pm he is interrupted for another meeting to we had nothing to contribute at 4 right yes sir another uh, second meeting of this day first was at 10:30 mm. yes another at 4 and it ends at just before 6 mm. a two hour meeting yes sir uh, and he has a 7:30 dinner to attend at a nearby restaurant okay at 6 meeting ends at 7:30 dinner mm. look the routine mm. त्या बोली राख्नु भएको छ पढाउनु भएको छैन होला के मतलब छैन उले भनेको नि थाहा छैन पहिले भनेको नि थाहा छैन नि त भनेर भन्छ हो के को गर्नु हो ह जिस्के जिस्के यो जिस्के ल ल जिस्के ल मलाई जिस्के भन्दा चाहिँ जिस्के होला कि को बोले बोले गर्छ उले बिचार बताइरा छ सुन्नु पर्यो नि त He goes to a restaurant uh, in a basement, but false paper windows and the gurgle of oh an God. artificial. Oh God! Restaurant, the basement with false paper windows. Mm. And the gurgle of an artificial spring, giving the feeling of a feudal era tea house. Look at the artificiality. The restaurant is in the basement, but they have done some decoration to to give the impression that it's a very wonderful restaurant. Yes. Beer is poured and everyone raises a glass, and the dinner is officially mm. underway. Tossing. What do you do? Call toss. What do you call? What do you call when you raise beer glass and you strike the glass? Cheers. Cheers. I don't drink, so I don't know. Uh, the dear, the dinner runs for two hours through course. Oh, after seven thirty. Dinner for two hours. Nine thirty. Mm. Uh, of course and course of fish vegetable and rice mm. raw fish mm. uh, women in kimonos glide in discreetly to fuss over the men flirt. like the police restaurant women are waitresses right? you see when you go we see lots of women right mm. flirt a bit top of the beer glasses mm. as yes. salary man's manager is pleased with how the dinner has gone uh, uh, he says that they the other party has seemed to enjoyed the dinner as well they are giving this dinner to another party that is a client for their company and they are giving this dinner to attract them to do the business with them uh he rolls into the drinking spot they have decided on about 10 with his friends mm. uh soon people are yelling at the salaryman to sing he struggles to his feet and stumbles through his standard number in now the salaryman is drunk drunk he is drunk Uh, a um, a teary man uh, a teary man his friend uh, mm. tells him to sing a song at the end of a journey mm. another mile 7 is lit the 45th of the day the mile 7 is a cigarette company yeah uh, he smokes 45th and cigarette. 45th of the day at 11 pm several friends are talking about going to a soparado so planned a type of bath house where young women at 11 they say let's go to bath house uh, mm. Uh, just call your wife and tell her the boss is making you Look, work overnight. Look, cheating wives. Call your wife and tell boss has kept you for some work, so you can't come on time, and you're going to bathhouse to meet girls. Mm. 
It is said that in the 32nd paragraph, Salaryman, Salaryman has been to such places uh, since his marriage and he had a thing going on with a young woman in the audit department. Look, another cultural thing. Japanese married men do not hesitate to cheat on their wives, right? They are married, but they visit girls in restaurant. Mm -hmm. He says that he has lost interest in such diversions because they're too expensive. Ah, now he doesn't go to the two. Expensive. expensive. Look, he has given his soul and body to the company. He doesn't have enough money to visit such places hmm. yeah, if so, he wants. Uh, it's uh, money over his morals. Uh, he puts money. Uh, yeah. Money is it's because he's, it's expensive, not because it's because he's married and uh, his morals. Uh, 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 uh. As he puts money over his morals, he said, right? Yes, sir. And he doesn't have money. You made a very interesting point. He puts money over his Morals. He doesn't because go there because it's immoral. Yes, sir. He doesn't go because he doesn't have money. If he had money, he would go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, as the, uh, so he goes to the train station and pulls out an adult, adult comic book for, from his briefcase and he starts to... In the very beginning, it. he has one adult comic book in his bag. Mm. This. Mm. Briefcase. This is remarkable. It shows, it shows something about he is married, he has wife and children. And why does he read adult pornographic comic? This might shed a light about sexual life of Japanese people. Many of them, they are not happy with the family. They are not satisfied with the family. I don't know how it put. Go up. After waiting 20 minutes for a cab, Sariman rides towards his home. In his early de days of marriage, there was a ride waiting for him, his wife. Wife used to wait for him, yes. All but, it is a matter of. And uh, they used to talk about how their daughter's piano classes are going and how their son is still crazy about those robot models. Mm. Um, but um, the wife didn't want to tailor, his, uh, tailor her life uh, with him, according to him. So she does not pick, pick him up anymore and she's developed her own uh, hobbies. Uh. At home, he lets himself in the door quietly since all of uh, his family members are asleep. Uh. Uh, he eats dinner and he keeps the TV on. Uh, ten minutes later... He reaches home around one, I guess, after midnight. Mm. Mm. TV, he, wat he watches the TV and ten minutes later, opening after, after opening his children's door for a sentimental gaze at, at them as they sleep. Looks at children who are sleeping. Yeah. And sentimental gaze, so uh, he can never uh, see his children, he can only see them when they are asleep. Yeah, he can't feed them, he can't play with them. He gives a sentimental gaze, yeah. Before going to bed, he thinks, Sunday, Sunday, if we're, go if we're back here by 1, could be on the train by 1.30, the job oh, shouldn't take I so long. if I take Japanese people of this culture, they don't take bath in the morning, they take bath the previous night. Look, the reason is they are quite late. He says it's one o'clock. And if I can take bath right now, I can leave early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he thinks about Sunday, his plans with his family. And he thinks if we're back here by one, could be on the train by 1.30. The job shouldn't take so long. It, I know it oh, by heart. Could be on the train by 1.30. So when does he sleep? It's one o'clock at night. And he says, if I take bath right now, I could be on the train by 1.30. I don't know. When does he sleep? How does he not no, sleep? No, no. About the next Sunday. Okay, PM. next Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so he's thinking about work and he's uh, thinking about decreasing his time with his family. Okay. Thinking about work and decreasing his time with the family. family. And thinking, thinking would of you like work. To, would you like to make such time by your husband in the future? No, not at all. Not at all, right? <laughs> go on, go on. Stop okay. you. That is it. Okay. Now tell you we, wonderful. You read through the text. You you told what is there. I appreciate. Uh, can you make some comments on the story? Uh, it shows how uh, the Japanese work culture is uh, completely dependent on hustle culture and wanting to be ahead. Mm. No time for their family. Mm. And no personal expression. No time for personal expression. It's just work, work, work. Uh, and wanting to be promoted. Wanting to be close with their manager. Mm. Wanting to be ahead. Uh, is this a good thing? No, sir. Why it's not a good thing? Uh, you have to have a little bit of personal space, family, uh, and personal life ex instead of just work, 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 work life. So, so what, what might the title salary man mean? A salary man mean... Um, How would you interpret the word, the title salary man? Why this title is suitable? He's just become a salary man, but not a regular man, just working for... He's just a salary man, not a regular man. Working he's for salary his salary. Man because 
He does everything for the company. Who gives him salary, right? Mm. And he puts company above his family. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well done. Uh, Amish, could you open another chapter? I'll, I'll explain. Like, for example, uh, open the chapter. Uh, uh, the moment. Open the chapter. A wild flower, the wild flower. Wild flower. A male. Wild flower. Ah, open it. We'll read a small poem. It will take not more than one minute. Okay. So now we're reading a poem by a Nepali poet. Uh, Sravan Mukaru, who was born June 8, 1968, one year older than me, I see. Uh, well established, popular name in contemporary Nepali poetry. He has authored eight books so far, three of poetry and two of songs and lyrical poems. His other works include Yalamba, a work of drama, and two books of essays and articles, Vise Nagarji Ko Bayan, very famous poem. Now let's read the poem, Jangali Fool, very short poem. This is, this is, this, you can call this a minimalist poem. A minimalist poem is a poem in the style where you use minimum words, right? Look here, Gaon, Sahar, Ya, Nagartira, Malai, so this is the voice of the flower itself. Jangali Fool Bansan Tara Jangal Maita Mero Naam Arkecha This poem is very remarkable here. Look here. So, in the jungle, they call the flower wild, wild flower, right? In the, in, the, in the city, in the city, they call it wild flower. The point to understand is, look here. Keep the poem as The poem has the idea of othering. Other. You are in the city, right? And here is a flower. In the jungle. Right? And when you look from your perspective, the body Six so I said, from your location, the flower is in the jungle. So have you seen our habit when we see people who are away from us, who do not belong to us? our culture, our caste, our religion, we call them others, orko, parai, parai. And we treat the parai differently. We treat the other differently. The same is here. The flower has a name in his place. The flower has a name in his place. You know, 
आपने घर में छोरी हो नहीं बहनी हो दीदी हो नानू हो अरु कुछ गाँव में कस घर में स्ट्रेन्ज भर गया केटी भले अब केटी आती भाई केटी आती भाई भन्न सकना पोसिबली के आपको ठाव में तो उसको नाम छोरी दीदी बहनी हो अर पर के हो मखद तर अरु कहाँ पे के बताओ केटी भाई सीखना के हो हाउ वी लुक एट अदर्स हाउ वी लुक एट अदर्स वी अदर देर इज द अदर इज अ भाव अदरिंग अदरिंग यू आर नट आवर यू आर अदर यू आर अदर एंड दिज रिमाकेबल बिकज इन नेपाल अल्सो वेन इफ आम इफ आम पहाड़ी I might other Madhesi. If I'm Madhesi, I might other Pahadi. If I'm Newar, I might other uh, Brahmin. If I'm Brahmin, I might other Newar. You can take that sense from the short poem. Look, Sahariya Nagar tera Malay jungle hi full bhansan. People in the city call me wild flower, canker bloom, canker, canker is wild wild flower. But in my place. I have a name. Here, name means identity. Here, name means identity. One meaning I get from the poem is that your identity is respected, accepted in your culture, in your place. And when you migrate to another culture, another place, people don't accept your identity, and they give you a name. and that name is sarcastic that name is insulting i remember mala ke bantyo sat class in india padha hari ladko ye bahadur hai bhannu bhag din sar le kati insulting in india ma bahadur bhanne kala bancha gate ma gate pale baschan tyo khaki lagara bollywood movie ma dekhaunchha ni indian india ko bollywood movie ma gate pale jati sabai nepali huncha character ye bahadur hai that, that is othering that is Other, I had my name. In my family, I was Divakar. In my family, I was Divakar. I was Babu. My daddy always called me Babu. Even today, he calls me Babu. I was Babu in my family. But in that college, where there was Indian culture, I was a minority Nepali in the class. I was only Nepali, and he called me Bahadur. That is othering. That is othering. तर जंगल मई तो मेरे नाम अर्क इन द जंगल आई हेव मई आइडेन्टिटी इन मई प्लेस आई हेव मई आइडेन्टिटी इन मई कंट्री आई हेव मई आइडेन्टिटी इसलिए सीख् पर्यो देश छोड़ा खत्म होद तब देश छोड़ बाहर जानू यूपी को मदर तब छोड़ बाहर जानू यूपी को मदर ने पो यू हेव अम राइट बट वेन यू लिव नेपाल एंड यू गो टू Nagar, Kuwait, Dubai, you become other, right? Wonderful poem. Now let's see the translation. Very simple translation. In villages, cities. Oh, yeah, my little Tanya, Uta Pusata. So this is translated by Harris Adhikari, a Nepali poet and editor, who is a visiting faculty member at Kathmandu University, Nepal. He has authored one poetry collection, flowing with a river, and is currently working on two more books of poetry, and one of translation. His works have appeared or are forthcoming in London Grip New Poetry, Red Fed Journal, Buddhist Poetry Review. Right now, let's see the poem. Wild flower, jungle full, in villages, cities. Or towns, what they call me is wild flower. Why do they call me? Why do they call him wild flower? Why do they give this wild adjective? Because it is their city, it is their town, not my city or my town. That's this is what happens when you go to foreign country. Then when America comes, you become the wild flower because it's their city and town, right? But I do have a different name means I do have my own identity in the jungle it means where I belong to 
यू कैन हैव योर ट्रू आइडेंटिटी ओनली वेर यू बिलोंग टू एंड इफ यू क्विट द प्लेस वेर यू बिलोंग टू एंड यू गो टू अ फॉरन प्लेस फॉरन कंट्री फॉरन सिटी फॉरन टाउन फॉरन विलेज अनादर प्लेस अनादर विलेज यू लूज योर आइडेंटिटी एंड दे गिव यू अ न्यू आइडेंटिटी दुबई जानू तब वर्कर बनु दे रेफर यू एज अ वर्कर राइट घर में तब छोरा हो बाबू हो अंकल हो आंटी हो बिकम अ वर्कर वेरी सर्ट पोएम बट टू मी दिस पोएम इट्स वॉकिंग अबाउट इश्यू अफ आइडेन्टिटी एंड अदरिंग आइडेन्टिटी एंड अदरिंग योर आइडेन्टिटी इज सेफ गार्डेड इन योर कल्चर इन योर लोकेशन in your family in your place with your people when you leave your culture you leave your place leave your people and go to foreign country you lose that name and they give you a name jungle versus city so there are two locus and i told you that this poem is about the concept of othering and identity okay let's check one more poem or poem khol sumis ya or koi poem sir मार्जरेट एटबुड को सहरा तो द मोमेंट बनने हाँ द मोमेंट बनने सो आ आ So here is a poem. Let's read by Margaret Atwood, titled. Yes, sir. The moment they hold a title, what is it? Let's check. The moment. Okay. The moment when, after many years of hard work and a long, let's make Sanu Banu. Tell us, Sanu, what is it? ए होना द मोमेंट वेन आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स अफ हार्ड वर्क एंड अ लॉन्ग वॉयज यू स्टैंड इन द सेंटर ऑफ योर रूम Now, in poetry, pay attention to the persona. In a story, we have a narrator, someone whose voice we hear. In a poem, we call it a persona. I sp- we also call it a speaker. In stories, we have narrators. In poetry, we have speakers or persona. The moment when, after many years of hard work and a long journey. you this you can be you me us stand in the center of your room look the moment room house or at the center of a room or house or half acre square mile island country look small room see the see the size area room then bigger than room house bigger than house the compound may be bigger than the compound may be the area where the town is located square mile then the island then the country look within country you have island within island you have area the the village within that you have the compound within that you have the house within that you have the room knowing where to next to where sir knowing at last how you got there and say i own this house i own this place is the same moment when the trees unloose their soft arms from around you 
in the same moment when the trees unloose their soft arms what are the soft arms of the tree maybe the branches from around you ah uh, kode mele alla idin illa kuttale chhoyeke mele chhoyeko to keita chhoyeko to thina chhoyeko to thina ab मैं यहाँ बड़ा बताऊँ चलो तब ऐसे पोएम पर हेरते जानू ना तब छोड़ दो अब टाइम सी दियो द मोमेंट वेन आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड अ लॉन्ग बॉयज यू स्टैंड इन द सेंटर ऑफ योर रूम ओके हाउस हाफ एकर स्क्वायर माइल आईलैंड कंट्री नोइंग एट लास्ट हाउ यू गॉड देयर एंड से आई ओन दिस हाउस इज द सेम मोमेंट वेन द ट्रीज अन लूज दे आर सॉफ्ट आर्म्स फ्रॉम अराउंड यू द बर्ड्स टेक बैक देयर लैंग्वेज द क्लिप्स द क्लिप्स फिशर एंड कोलैप्स द एयर मूव्स बैक फ्रॉम यू लाइक अ वेब and you can't breathe no they whisper you own nothing you were a visitor time after time climbing the hill planting the flag proclaiming we never belonged to you you never found us it was always the other way round malai poem bujhna garo bhayo tapai har kaam dinchu tapai poem pornis diusho तो तब सो के कत गुगल नगर के नगर अलग के नगर्ने पढ़् मल्टिपल टाइम रही मिनींग बना आई क्लास में मैं मेरे मिनींग बना आई विल सेयर द मिनींग हाई तो वी स्टप हियर थैंक यू